guys. Uh, today we are here in Southwest Ohio. Um, I'm in town for the week and I'm visiting some family. Um, I just walked through about 14 acres of woods and I think I was the last person to come down here a year ago. And so everything's overgrown. I didn't spray for ticks or anything like that. And so uh, everything uh, is just, I've got weeds all over my pants and everything, uh, but that's okay. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Today we're gonna be finding some fossils and uh, we're gonna find all different kinds. Uh, horn coral, uh, brachiopods, uh, cephalopods, hopefully. Um, some different uh, bryozoans and uh, just stuff like that. Just everything, I think it's uh, the Ordovician uh, period. I don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, today is actually my dad's birthday. Um, we just got him all carved up, so he's taking a nap now. We just ate like, uh, we uh, smoked a, a brisket and everything like that and ate some cake and ice cream, so he is passed out. And so uh, I've got about two hours or so, so I'm gonna be down here. It took me about a half an hour to get down here. Um, forgive road noise. There's a couple parts uh, along this area that we're gonna be uh, by some roads. So you might hear a little bit of traffic, so I apologize about that. But uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Here we go. We have all kinds of rocks with fossils on them. Like uh, these are some older ones here. Here's an older one. So this has been, tumbling in the creek for a while uh, but look at all those uh, brachiopods and that big horn coral on it right there and a few things here on the back but this has all been pretty worn down by the creek uh, by being tumbled um, every time the water rises all the water just going over it so we're going to leave that one there here's a rock with uh, a horn coral on it that's much more curved let's flip it over and see if we nope nothing on the back side but again, I'm gonna leave this one here. That's really cool. It's curved like a uh, like a claw or something. So I just dug this rock up. You can see where it was uh, buried down there in the mud, uh, right down there in that dirty spot, right there in front of my left foot. And I flipped it over and I saw this uh, piece of a cephalopod right there going down into it. It's lost all of its definition and stuff because of uh, being tumbled in the water. But, so I'm going to leave it right there where I found it. Right. And a few of these. See a bunch of old brachiopods and such. See that's uh, an old horn coral or piece of it is still stuck in there. The rest of it has fallen off. A lot of brachiopods and stuff uh, down in there. Look like fossilized sticks a little bit. Pretty cool. See the white, that's where it's uh, had rocks hitting it or it's bumped up against something and it's kind of scraped it right there. This little guy right here is known as a tiger beetle and they are fast. Here we go, I think I found my first gastropod right there. We got another impression right there. Right. We got some uh, brachiopods, uh, horn coral. Nothing really on the back. I'm leaving this one here as well. It doesn't have as good uh, definition as I'd like. I find that the uh, the best ones are over by the wall. Uh, by the rock wall. We'll get to that later. A lot of these can be um, pretty pretty smoothed over. Ooh, this one here's got all kinds of stuff going on in it. Man, just about every one of these rocks has got fossils in it of some sort. Well, you never know what you're going to find down by the creek. This is a, uh, a deer jawbone. I have been finding these little brachiopods left, right, and in the middle. These things are all over. Oh, check this out. We've got a pretty worn uh, horn coral. What will happen is when you get this in the water, a lot of times the rock will turn like a really dark color and the fossil, the fossil will turn uh, a light color, a pretty white. 
do that. Pretty cool. And the moment I turn that camera off, I look down and I see this weathered uh, horn coral. I like these old ones like this. I think they're really pretty. It reminds me of like a barnacles on a on a ship or something like that, you know. Now I got to go watch uh, Pirates of the Caribbean again or something. Here's a quick look at that piece after I've got a little bit more cleaned up. This looks like a really cool find right here. Uh, it's got horn coral all over it, uh, but it's really smoothed over. Uh, nothing really on the back. And it weighs about 25, 30 pounds. Really cool. I'm not taking it though, way too heavy. I don't feel like carrying it 14 acres back up a hill. All right, so there's that rock I just set down. And as I was starting to walk over this direction, came across that horn coral. Here's a look at that fossil after I've got it all washed off. Well, I just noticed how the corner of my eye when I was looking at that. There's a rock with a horn coral embedded in it right here. No, the whole thing's a horn coral. Oh, cool. And that's just got a little bit of matrix on it right there. Okay. Nice. And again, here's this horn coral after I've got it all washed off as well. Okay, so this one right here, I know is one. Looks like it has a broken tip. This one right here, I'm suspicious. Nope, just a rock. And it's got a broken tip. I'm gonna leave this one here. Here's a little horn coral fossil that I picked up right after that one. I didn't film this one though, but here it is all cleaned up. So when I'm looking for different types of rocks, it doesn't have to be fossils, just any kind of rocks along a creek or uh, a river. I always find straight areas are good, but if you can get a spot that has like a bend in it, like this bends around and then it bends around again right there, those are always, uh, or those are usually pretty good for finding some different types of rocks because uh, things collect uh, right there at these corners. Speaking of things collecting right here at these corners, would you check this one here out? It's got a rock, a little spider stuck to the back, a little wolf spider, but all kinds of uh, brachiopods, but man, check out the size of that horn coral. That thing is huge. Much bigger than my, like there's my fat thumb, you know? Man, that thing's huge. So here's what that piece looks like when it's all cleaned up. Now notice the difference between the rock being dry and the rock being wet. Okay, so I just picked up that really big uh, horn coral right there. And I looked up because I was setting it in my bucket because I'm going to keep that one. And I just saw the cephalopod right here. That's pretty cool. I'm going to leave this in here though. Hopefully I can find one that's a little bit more intact. But yeah, so this creek bends right here and goes this direction and then makes another bend and I came from uh, way down that way. All right, so it looks like there is a good size horn coral right here. I don't know, the rock's not as embedded as I thought. It's 
Let's go over here in the creek and clean this thing up. So let's take a little closer look at this piece after we get it cleaned up. Check out all the rhizomes that are embedded in there in that horn coral. That's pretty cool. Got a three of them, it looks like. Let's dip it down in the water. Got a beautiful brachiopod right there. Horn coral, horn coral, horn coral. Nothing really on the back. Nothing really on the sides. Still, I mean, it's uh, it's weathered. It's uh, smoothed over from being in the water. Still really pretty. You can make out some of those lines still, some of those ridges. So there is some definition there, just not as much as a fresh one right out of the wall. Here's another quick look at this piece after it's been cleaned off as well. All right, so let's go back to the creek and do some more exploring. Just for fun, I'm gonna get this rock wet and see how many horn coral we can find from it. Because right now, everything kind of looks the same color and we have a few uh, shape variations. But once you get the rock wet, uh, what happens is the rock, uh, the matrix will turn a darker color and the fossils will turn a whiter color. See that? Really pretty cool. So we got at least one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. And I don't know what this is here above my finger or over here. So the way through the creek looked kind of nasty, kind of like that nasty mud water right there. So I was going to walk up over here to go over to that side and then backtrack a little bit and hit those rocks and as i was walking over here i started to take a step over by this rock and look at that we have a cephalopod really really cool It's lost a lot of definition, especially up here um, from water, but still, it's really, really neat. Here's that piece after I got it all washed off. It wasn't until after I got it clean that I realized that there's some bryozoans that are embedded down there. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.